Hey, everybody. Hey. Uh, welcome to My Fat Hands. If, if you're new here, welcome. If you're one of our subscribers, we absolutely love you. Welcome back. Uh, we love welcome, you. Welcome back. And uh, I think we should do an internet hug for people. That might be, they would be more interested in like commenting if we give them an internet hug. That's true. Or hug, hug your hug your lazy eyed father. Come, come to us. <laughs> do, love us. <laughs> All right. All right. Does everybody well, feel good? Yeah, I, it, I feel like I just hugged you, man, and I feel I feel better because of it. I just want to let everybody know that we just hugged all our subscribers. We did, and we got big old arms. They can reach all the way down to Peru and South America, Guatemala, or Australia. If you're from Australia and you've watched this far, put a comment in there and say, "Good day, Yanks." Shrimp Throw on the ball, baby. Yeah. Uh, Surf's up or talk about Irukandji. That's a place where all the sharks and jellyfish live, isn't it? Yeah, but they also have koalas. And you know what else they have? What? Kawakas. What's a kawanka? <laughs> oh, that's kawanka. cute. That's like a little cutie bear. It's the most adorable. It, they they look like they were invented in, like by Hanna Barbera or something. It's <laughs> it's it is the world's cutest marsupial. They live on a, a specific island. I think it's off of mainland. Australia is an island, basically, if you think it's about China it. Island, yeah, but these are on a much smaller island off of Australia. Mm. And uh, I believe, I might be misspeaking, I don't know. If you're from Australia, let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. But, don't <laughs> but, be shy. Uh, Kawa- <laughs> you, this is your chance to show how smart you are. Yes, please, Australia. I mean, we, it was mostly like criminals and stuff that were settled Australia, right? Wasn't it like a prison colony? I, I believe that yes, that is part of their their origin. Now, yeah. hmm. I don't know if we're wrong, and you're from Australia, tell us. So anyway, kawakas are these adorable little marsupials. I mean, they look. They here, watch. There's another one. They're just they're hilarious. They're just. I think there's little... some kind of. Can we also post like recipes for them? Yes. Oh God, they taste like uh, they taste like pepperoni pizza, hmm. uh, which is just which is really a favorite bizarre. of mine. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so Kawakas are really cute, fuzzy little guys. They're cartoonish. They survive primarily on the liver of humans. And a lot of people don't know that. Mm. Um, if you don't believe uh, me, go to Wikipedia right now. And, uh, and they're, they're truly Satan's hamsters, in case mm-hmm. you didn't know that. They have, they're little devil bunnies. Yes. They, they, if you feed them after midnight, they uh, turn green and scaly, and they grow long fangs and... So yeah, stay away from Kawakas. I think we should start a program to eradicate them as quickly as possible. Maybe it's already begun. Kawaka? Who came up with that name? That's messed up. (laughs) Kawaka, waka, waka. (laughs) That is a messed up name. It is a messed up name for a kid. They should just be called fuzzies. Just fuzzies. They're right, they're, but they have poison fangs or something. You they have poison fangs and they have a scorpion tail. And they, mm-hmm. I might be wrong on that part. I don't know. I, I it I, seems, I don't, it sounds like something that would be in Australia. Australia. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like it as a neurotoxin that, you know, turns you into one of the three, right? Like the jellyfish that kill you and they have hammerhead sharks and stuff. And they have great white sharks. The other thing they have in, in Australia, which are awesome, is they have octopi that are about that big. Oh, that's so cute. You should pick it up and hold it. Yeah, they're called blue ring octopus. Oh, that's nobody cute. Nobody even knows how they inject their venom, but it can like kill up to 40 men, like just really with, with mind powers. They're just like, they're gorgeous and terrifying, a lot like me. So, <laughs> so uh, so you might not believe this looking at Ben and myself, but we pay very close attention to our analytics because we're analytical people. We are and, number uh, crunchers by heart. That's right. We all we care about are the numbers and the in the specifics it's and uh, in the Pacific and sometimes the Atlantic. And the Meridian. And, and the Meridian, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so make sure uh, make sure when you're in the bath that you really scrub your meridian. That's because right. If, otherwise you'll get like debris and stuff that get up in there yeah and sometimes ticks go there so. yeah oh they love that area yeah so keep a look on your meridian and so anyhow we have a video uh that everybody hates and uh <laughs> and we love that we, we love we love the hate out. uh just so you know if you hate our video 
YouTube we doesn't love care. <laughs> as long as you click that dislike button, they think it's a like. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we think it's a like. <laughs> All we, we know is that yeah, you click. A like. <laughs> you know, any attention is, is good attention as far what's, as we're concerned. What's you know, the video you're talking about? Let's, go for it. Let's narrow it down. We're, we're talking about the uh, season 10 premiere of Oak Island. Oh, the Oak Island reveal, the secret yeah, reveal, it's a reveal or something. It's a leaked video of what they find in Oak Island. Well, they found Island. something, didn't they? They found something. Yeah. I think they did. I think they found the Lindbergh baby. They found the Ark of the Covenant. Well, yes, that's right. They found the Ark. Ark and what of the was Covenant. inside of it? Uh, a, a kitty cat. Kitty cat. Here's a cute kitty. little kitty cat going num <laughs> num num. Well, I hope you like that video because there's more to come. <laughs> <laughs> This man is hammered, folks. But yeah, so, uh, but yeah, you know, the great thing about us is that no matter what, we keep pushing out content. We so keep if you pooping like it our out. Stuff, you, you might find something in the 5,000 videos we've uploaded that you might actually like. So eventually uh, we're going to make something that you hate less. That's right. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just that one video. This guy jigging with Jordan. We've talked about him before, and uh, so he bought this little toy submarine thing, mm -hmm. and I don't know how much it cost, but I'm guessing it probably cost him like 20000 bucks at least. We could probably do some research and find out how much the thing really cost, but then uh, he came out with a video, I don't know, like two weeks ago or something. Like, we're right on top of our shit here. <laughs> two weeks ago, he came out with a video, and he took this little toy submarine out for a test ride, and basically what I got from the video is like, like you... Like my idea of a submarine is that you are don't get soaking wet when you're in the submarine. Right. This little toy submarine thing, you're like up to your shoulders in the water. Like you have to swim into the back. The water comes up to like here. The sub, every time it's trying to adjust the buoyancy, it's like this really loud release of yeah, it's really loud. It, even in the video, he's like, Oh shit, that's loud. <laughs> so like, so, okay. So all these environmental factors don't really produce a calming essence of, you know, exploring the, you know, like it's not a Jacques Cousteau, just Jacques Cousteau even. It's not a Jacques Cousteau vibe. Like he's right. in this submarine. He's up to his shoulders in ice cold water. The thing is blasting a noise out. And uh, he's, you know, like he rode around in the submarine and he came up to, uh, you know, okay, great. He survived. So hooray i guess he survived but then in the meantime he bought a like a speed boat yeah or something like a racing boat i don't know yeah, one so, boat yeah. but his so he he got the boat that he's going underwater with the little toy submarine thing now he's got a racing boat i think he's just like searching out ways to kill himself yeah no i agree uh, yeah. yeah and in his videos he's um got these guys that help him they're the underwater bros or something but uh, he thanks them like five times in every video and he gives them, hits them up with the knuckles every time. Hey, bro, bro. And uh, I think if he didn't have the word bro in his vocabulary, he would only have like three other words. Right. It's kind of, <laughs> right. He's kind of using that as a crutch big time. The weird so. thing he hasn't noticed about these brothers is that they, they wear black hoods. <laughs> and they're skeletons and they walk around with size everywhere they go they're like they're like come on oh, get in your submarine <laughs> get in the submarine yeah, in your, yeah, yeah it'll be fun you, bro <laughs> you'll get a lot of clicks it'll be great <laughs> <laughs> we need more subs bro yeah, i enjoy his videos he seems like a nice guy i really wish him well the idea yeah. of this submarine it looks cool but man please don't like you know oh let's see how deep it can go <laughs> yeah i wouldn't really call that a, a, a submarine i would yeah. call that a, a a underwater diving apparatus yeah I like mean, a diving bell is really yeah, kind of I mean, it's it like actually, a diving makes, bell I mean, yeah. this thing, there's a reason why they quit making these things 30 years ago it's the reason why they only <laughs> sold six of them because because yeah. you're up to your fucking neck in ice cold water and meanwhile there's a battery case right below you and if the water gets in there the thing's going to short out you'll have no power and you're going to sink like I, I think they sold this to like five dead Arab princes, you know. <laughs> it's like I want to drive it, and then when they die, you know. So yeah, and the, I, the technology is so advanced. 
to help it submerge, they use giant lead weights. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's what I want. My, my sea craft is giant lead weights to make sure yeah. there's a malfunction. I sink directly to the bottom and die instantly. It's a He's got a, he is, he is really trying to find his own angle, you know, yeah. because he's done the treasure hunting. He's done the fishing. He's convinced that this submarine angle is going to be like, this is going to be the new paradigm YouTube videos. He's going to make a whole new thing. Dude, did you ever watch Jacques Cousteau like <laughs> 50 <laughs> fucking years ago? Those are the most amazing shows. Yeah. Like I grew up on that stuff. Oh, those, yeah. those are amazing. And Jacques Cousteau with the narration of it is it's impeccable. And the videography, I mean, filmography. I've never heard a Frenchman describe the dolphin to you. You are yeah. missing out because that's what Jacques Cousteau did. He talked about the dolphin. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. <laughs> so what... fucking check out Jigging with Jordan before it's too late. And we hope that he's yeah. safe. Yeah. We want to see, we wanna see more from you, Jigging with Jordan. That's Your right. little channel's doing great. You only got 3 million subs. Someday you'll catch up to us. That's Not right. that hands.